Yes, this is Candy Crush is running on Steam Deck, but today I am not here to play Candy Crush on Steam Deck. Steam Deck is a powerful handheld. It makes all the smartphone gamepad irrelevant. If you already own a Steam Deck, it is better to stop wasting your money on smartphone gamepad. We can play the most graphically demanding smart games like PUBG and Genshin Impact on Steam Deck at constant 60 FPS. I will show you step by step how to turn your Steam Deck into a powerful Android gaming handheld. Before we start the tutorial, make sure your Steam Deck has Windows 10 or 11 installed. Also make sure it has SWICD installed too. Let's go ahead and install the Android emulator onto the Steam Deck first. Let's go to this website first. The website link can be found under my video description too. The emulator we are going to install today is called LD Player. I have tried a couple other Android emulators on the Steam Deck, but the LD Player has the best performance on the Steam Deck so far. Let's click on download the LD Player 9, and then run the .exe file. Click Yes. Then we need to set up the installation location. You can pick up a location where you like the emulator is to be installed. Then we can click install. I highly recommend to reject those additional softwares that comes with the LD player. So just click reject. The installation process will take about 2-3 to three minutes. So just go have fun and then come back. Now the installation is finished. Then click start. The first boot up will take about 3 minutes, so just be patient here. Now we have booted into the LD player. It should say that a gamepad was detected and connected at the center top area. That means your Steam Deck controller is ready to use with the LD player. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, in order to have the gamepad detected, you need to have SWICD or Glossies installed on your Steam Deck. Also, we can check the gamepad states. At the top right corner, it should show as the gamepad was connected. Now let's go to System App, and then click on Play Store and log in your Google account. So this LD player basically works like an Android smartphone. I will just simply log into my Google account here, and then we will log into our Play Store. You can download any games or apps from here, just like your Android smartphone. I will just download the Pokemon Unite here for tutorial purpose. After the installation is done, just click the Home tab on the top left corner, and now we can see the game we just installed. That's all I would like to cover for the installation. Now let's move to optimize the LD player for the maximal performance on the Steam Deck. I would like to show the basic control of the LD player first. At the left bottom corner, we have our regular Android Home back at App Draw buttons here. We can use those three buttons to control the emulator. Go to your Windows search bar and type graphics setting and then open it. Under the desktop app, Click Browser and pick the LD Player software from your desktop. Click Add, then click on Options. Set it as High Performance. Then click Save. Let's go to top right corner and select Settings. Under the Advanced, make sure you are using the Tablet mode. The resolution should set as 1280 by 720p. CPU should set as 4 core. The RAM should set as 4096M. Now move to the next model. We need to select the best gaming smartphone here, which is Asus ROG Fan 2. Under the game settings, make sure the frame rate set as 60fps. Then move to other settings, and make sure your settings are matched with mine. Then we can click save settings. In step 3, I will show how to map all the buttons. Click the gamepad mapping setting buttons. I would like to remove all the default settings first, and then we can set up all the buttons from fresh. Just click cross on each button and remove them all. Now we can click and drag the left joystick from the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen. Then click and drag the right joystick from the setting panel to the right side of the screen. For the buttons mapping, all we need to do is click and drag the button A to the actual touching screen button location 
and then press any button on your Steam Deck. It will map the Steam Deck physical button to match with the touch screen button. Just repeat this process for all the touch screen button. After all the buttons are mapped, just remember to click save. Now we can play Android games with Steam Deck building gamepad. That's all for today's video. If you think what I just shared with you is helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button or subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a good one.